Okay, this is Kim Willis again, and I've got the last in the series. It's number 15 from the series called 15 Ways to Convert Facebook Friends into Sales and Income. And uh, it's Saturday night here in Phnom Penh. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking ahead. I'll be in Phnom Penh in two weeks. I'm in Siem Reap in Cambodia. I've just uh, gone out to do a little bit of shopping. I started at this place called Blue Pumpkin. And I bought me some patisserie for, um, well, it's an indulgence, right? I'm into, into a lot of French stuff at the moment. Well, probably for a long time. And uh, I want some patisserie for tomorrow night. I have a feast tomorrow night. Anyway, enough of that. So I'm walking through the streets here, through the um, kind of the night district streets in, in Siem Reap. And I'll share this lesson with you. And this lesson number 15, or this tip, mini lesson, call it what you like. Hang on, I've got to cross the road now. It is called Make Them an Offer. They can't refuse. And as a natural follow on, no thanks, no. Um, is a natural follow on from the previous tip, tip, num tip number 14, called get them excited, get them excited. That's what you want. Uh, this is, we see a lot of this in Cambodia. There's a guy here who's crippled. Yeah, you, you gotta be, um, you got to be willing on, uh, willing to. <laughs> you, you've got to be able to handle all sorts of experiences when you're in a third world country. I can tell you. Uh, I've seen. <laughs> anyway, I won't talk about that. There'll be a next uh, another video devoted to travel experiences or something. So this one is, yeah, this is a good one, and I think it takes it out quite nicely for the series. Make them an offer they can't refuse. What sort of an offer would that be? Look, could be anything. You could, in, if you're more of an affiliate marketer, you could include bonuses. I guess you could do it if you're an MLM marketer as well. But um, I think it lends itself more to the affiliate. Here's some tukuk bars. There's a lot of them, a lot of them here. Um, in a couple of hours time, there'll be a lot more, I can tell you. Anyway, um, yeah, it could be a bonus. It could be, it could be anything. Uh, you could get hold of some uh, PLR, private label rights uh, product, brand it for yourself, and it could be a training or something on some topic about lead generation or something like that. Whatever is relevant to them and to you in your, uh, in your niche, right, your industry. You could do that. Um, and you can offer them a bonus if they join within the next 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. Set a deadline. It's got to be a deadline. It has to be time limited. Yeah. So uh, that make them an offer they can't refuse. There's, there's a lot of different offers you could make to them. Uh, another one could be um, you hook up with someone else in your team or something like that. Somebody that you've got um, a relationship with who has some credibility and some authority and what you do there is um, yeah what you do there is you get him to agree to give them a free consultation if they join within 48 hours let's say okay now why would he do that for you well maybe uh, maybe you could pay him something a uh, portion of your commission uh, you could, if he's, if you're an MLM, he might be in your upline. So you could, that it's true? There's a vested interest in him helping a new team member, isn't there? We. God, it's busy here. Um, this is called Pub Street, by the way.
All right. Now, um, by the way, those tuk tuk bars, very cheap, like a cocktail, dollar fifty. Yeah, dollar fifty. Glass of wine, two dollar. Uh, yeah, very cheap. Beer, uh, fifty cents. That sort of thing. I'm not much of a drinker, but sometimes I'll I'll come down and just for a bit of fun and have a couple of cocktails. Yeah, I won't be doing that tonight. Uh, yeah, so bonuses do work. Preferably, if it was me, I'd be using bonuses that don't cost you any money. They might cost you time. They might cost someone else some time. Uh, if it was if you bought a private label rights uh, product. Okay, that's going to cost you money, but you can leverage it over and over and over again with different people, okay? So, you can do that. Sad, isn't it? Yeah, All right. Got to cross the road. Uh, up this street here, this is called uh, Night Market Street. I call it Hooker's Haven. It's dangerous for a single guy to be. It's dangerous for a single guy like me to be walking up there, I can tell you. I'll grab everything, including your money. <laughs> okay. Um, what other bonuses? Oh. Nice little French restaurant in there. This used to be a French colony, by the way. That's why there's a French influence here. That's why I like it. That's why I prefer it to countries like Thailand that have never had, um, you know, <laughs> European style or British colonial masters. See, there is a there is a positive for colonialism. Uh, so there are still traces of the French, in, uh, French um, colonial past, or oh, signs of it, in in Cambodia. You do see it in the cities, particularly. You see it everywhere, including the architecture, not just the cuisine. All right. Of course, the Cambodians have their own uh, cuisine. I call it a poor man's Thai cuisine. I don't think it's anywhere near as good as Thai. Not, not even close. But it's there. It's pretty boring. But I've got nothing better to do. I've got nothing else to eat. Uh, it's cheap, two or three dollar for a plate. But I don't get excited about it. Up ahead is my friend, and he's smoking. First time I've seen him smoke. God, I give him money all the time. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Shopping. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm on the home run. I had a little interlude to do some sh proper supermarket shopping. So uh, anyway, I'll finish up this point. Make them an offer they can't refuse. If you're in a product space business and you've got some good margin, why not consider giving them a two for one offer, or something like that. Anything that helps to stimulate the buying response, essentially. And um, just use your imagination, you'll come up with some, some ideas yourself, I'm sure. Another one could be, even if, uh, well, if you're in a kind of a big ticket business opportunity and you're wanting them to take the higher level, the higher price level, you could perhaps give them a cash back offer, make a cashback offer, so that if they upgrade within a certain time frame, upgrade to the higher offer, let's say they came in at the lower offer, lower priced offer, um, if they, if you, you made them an offer, to, if they upgrade within a certain time frame, say 10 days or something like that, um, you know, they'll get a concession or a rebate based on the value of the higher offer. But let's say you're only limited to your own your imagination basically but you think about that make them an offer they can't refuse 
Now, if you're in an MLM type company, well, you're really in a, a sales rep. You're not really building your own business. You might think you are, but that's a bit of a myth. Um, you're self-employed, sure. But you're not building a business. That said, one of the advantages of aligning with a, a company like that is that they'll be coming up with offers, various promotions. So I guess it comes down to how well you get the message out. But if you're more of an affiliate marketer and you've got perhaps a, um, taking a bit more of an independent stance, you're building your own brand, etc., come up with your own offers. All right, so that's, that's tip number 15. The final tip in the series. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen all of the other videos in the series, other tips in the series, go and take a look at them. The other thing you can do is to opt into my website, kimwillis.net, my blog. Um, there's plenty of blog articles there, um, marketing related topics, etc. You can request my free report, 32 Ways to Get Hot Leads. And uh, you'll also go onto my email list and you'll get some, some good ideas, uh, good information or uh, email posts that come out regularly every week, sometimes many times a week. Yeah, so you can do that. The other thing you can do is join my community called SOS, and uh, that's a Facebook group. And there's over a thousand members in that, and growing pretty regularly. Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, and the way you you get added to that group after we check out your own wall, your wall, make sure it'd be a good, you'd be a good fit for us, is uh, to send me a request, a personal message on Facebook, and I'll add you to that group. It's, it's a non-spam group. If you're looking for somewhere to post your ads and your rubbish, <laughs> not rubbish, but you know, um, typical get-rich-quick type ads and things. Uh, this won't be the group for you. But if you're looking for a community, if you're looking to give value and perhaps get some value in return, if you're, you'll definitely get value in return just from what you'll learn. There are free lessons in there on engagement techniques, authority building strategies, uh, how to get leads from Facebook for free, that kind of thing. Um, some of the stuff's advanced, there's no, no doubt about that, but most of it's quite simple. Okay, so you can do that. Make a friend, or not a friend request, you don't even have to be my friend. I can, you can just ping me on, on Facebook and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, that's the end of the series. Tip number 15, make an offer you can, they can't refuse. It's getting dark now, I'm almost home. And um, look forward to another series coming up soon. I've got one in the works that I think you'll like as well. All right, this is Kim Willis. Bye for now.